Hi learners, in this video I am going to show you how to record general entries under perpetual and periodic inventory system. These transactions are given to us. I will record each transaction one by one under both the systems so that you can better understand the topic. Let's start. It is given that on June 1st, merchandise worth $12,000 are purchased from Troy suppliers. Credit terms are 2 by 10 and by 30. FOP shipping point. First of all, understand this statement 2 by 10 and by 30. It means if the buyer makes the payment within the next 10 days, he will be entitled for 2% discount. Otherwise, the amount is due in full within 30 days. FOP shipping point. It means buyer assumes ownership for product as soon as they leave the shipment origin. It means it is the responsibility of the buyer to pay the shipping cost. Let's get back to our question. Merchandise worth $12,000 are purchased on account. General entry under perpetual inventory system will be Inventory Two accounts payable $12,000 On the other hand, general entry under periodic inventory system will be Purchases Two accounts payable $12,000 Next, paid freight charges of $200 on June 1st purchase. I explained it to you earlier that under FOP shipping point, the buyer will pay the freight charges. General entry under perpetual inventory system will be inventory to cash $200. General entry under periodic inventory system will be freight in to cash $200. Next. On June 5th, goods worth $2,000 are returned to suppliers. General entry under perpetual inventory system will be accounts payable debit to inventory $2,000. General entry under periodic inventory system will be accounts payable debit to purchase return and allowances $2,000. Next, on June 10th, Payment is made to the suppliers. As you can see, goods were purchased on June 1st and payment was made on June 10th. The payment was made within the discount period. Therefore, buyer will get the benefit of 2% discount. Goods were purchased for $12,000 out of which goods worth $2,000 are returned. Therefore, net amount due to supplier is $10,000. General entry under perpetual inventory system will be accounts payable debit $10,000 to inventory which will be credited with discount that is 2% of $10,000 that is $200 to cash which will be credited with the balance that is $9,800. General entry under periodic inventory system will be accounts payable debit $10,000 to purchase discount $2,000 to cash $9,800. Next, on June 12th, goods are sold to Walmart company for $16,000. The cost of goods sold was $12,000. Credit term was 3 by 15 and by 30. Let's record it. General entry under perpetual inventory system will be accounts receivable debit to sales revenue dollar sixteen thousand cost of goods sold debit to inventory twelve thousand dollars general entry under periodic inventory system will be accounts receivable debit to sales revenue sixteen thousand dollars remember we do not record the cost of goods sold in the expense account under the periodic inventory method. Instead, the cost of goods sold is calculated at the end of the period and recorded in an adjusting general entry. Next, on June 14th, Walmart returned damaged goods worth Rs. $1,000 whose cost of goods sold was $750. Goods were restored to inventories. General entry under perpetual inventory system will be Sales return and allowances to accounts receivables 
वन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स इन्वेंट्री टू कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड सेवन फिफ्टी डॉलर्स जनरल एंट्री अंडर प्रियोटिक इन्वेंट्री सिस्टम विल बी सेल्स रिटर्न एंड अलाउंसेस टू अकाउंट्स रिसिवेबल्स वन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स लास्ट एंट्री कलेक्टेड अमाउंट ड्यू फ्रॉम वॉलमार्ट कंपनी गुड्स वर सोल्ड ऑन जून फोर्टीन एंड पेमेंट इज रिसीव फ्रॉम वॉलमार्ट ऑन जून ट्वेंटी सेकेंड द क्रेडिट टर्म्स वॉज थ्री बाय फिफ्टीन एंड बाय थर्टी सिंस द पेमेंट इज रिसीव विद इन द डिस्काउंट पीरियड वॉलमार्ट कंपनी विल बी एंटाइटल फॉर थ्री परसेंट डिस्काउंट गुड्स वर सोल्ड फॉर सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स आउट ऑफ विच गुड्स वर्थ वन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स आर रिटर्न बाय वॉलमार्ट ऑन द बैलेंस थ्री परसेंट डिस्काउंट विल बी अलाउड डिस्काउंट विल बी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स दैट इज फोर फिफ्टी डॉलर्स एंड द बैलेंस ऑफ फोर्टीन थाउजेंड फाइव फिफ्टी डॉलर्स विल बी कलेक्टेड लेस रिकॉर्ड जनरल एंट्री सेम जनरल एंट्री विल बी रिकॉर्डेड टू रिकॉर्ड कलेक्शन अंडर बोथ द सिस्टम्स दैट इज कैश अकाउंट डेबिट फोर्टीन थाउजेंड फाइव फिफ्टी डॉलर्स सेल्स डिस्काउंट डेबिट फोर फिफ्टी डॉलर्स टू अकाउंट्स रिसिवेबल्स फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स so guys i try to cover all the entries if you have any query you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching